All right, here we go. John Sally. Yes. Welcome back to Vlad TV. Yes, man. Thank you for having me back. Oh, man, thank you for coming. I should be monthly. You should be monthly. I should be monthly. I should I should be the menstrual cycle for this. <laughs> well, you're our only professional athlete repeat guest. Really? Yes. Yes. Man, I just keep making all kind of records that make no difference, but I keep making them. <laughs> They're like records no one plays. Yep. Yep. Well, let's go ahead and get into it. First and foremost, last time you were here, mm -hmm. you predicted that the Golden State Warriors are going to win the finals. I did? You did. For the fifth time? Or what? I said this was a three-peat year. You said. Yeah. And I quote. Well, they did win. I said they're going to win the West and Coast, West, West Championship. We post this on March 29th of this year. So John Stalley predicts Warriors will win the NBA Finals. Kevin Durant will stay. Okay. So let's go back. If Kevin Durant's playing, if Kevin Durant, this is just, I, I, listen, I was on the first Raptor team. I was going to post my picture in my Raptors uniform. It would have been disingenuous, so I didn't because uh, I, I, you know, that's their thing. I was going to go back because they were bringing back alumni. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I love being in Toronto. Did you play with Steph Curry's dad? Mm -hmm. No, I was, was on, a different year. I, my my play my guy was um, Damon Stoudemire rookie year. It was rookie of the year that year. Okay, and it was uh, 1995, 96. So I, I literally got Isaiah. I bought myself out of slavery, and I, <laughs> I was the only free slave in the NBA at the time. The LeBron has proven you can do it whenever, but I literally paid to get out so I can own my rights, and then you know I. I begged Isaiah. I said, come on, man. This is not happening. I, this is not me. And he was like, Sal, you got a lot of money left on the contract. We got to pay you this if you leave. I was like, I won't hold you to that. It was like $750,000. Okay. But I get on Chicago Bulls. I was right. Third. It you worked get, out. You get to play with Jesus. It you worked out. <laughs> 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 you got to, I got to play with Jesus. Uh, John and Luke, you know what I'm saying? I got to play on the squad with the Messiah and win a championship and have the best experience ever for $750,000. That's the way, that's one way of looking at it. Oh, yeah. But um, I didn't, I just tell you, Kevin Durant and anybody, you have to say it, and then I have to say it, they, I mean, he shouldn't have played after he officially Proves to y'all that it's not ready. Now people are like, man, you know what? Then somebody's going to say, well, he put it all on the line. <sighs> he ruined his Achilles, which usually means you cannot come back. Well, I saw like a breakdown of, similar, of, of other players who had a similar injury, and the average was around 300 days or so. Right. A whole year. A whole year. Yeah, I think, and he's six eleven. Boogie Boogie Cousins had a similar injury, right? Boogie uh, Kobe. Kobe had you're right. Kobe had a similar injury. That, that's it. Kobe. Just what it took for Kobe to even almost to get that sixty one the night that he did his last game. Just think about that life he had to go through. But it's I'm glad he left it all on the line. But you know, I heard he was getting divorced. And he's I'm married. Like, I didn't even know that. Yeah, man. I heard, I heard, you know, when they were talking, I don't know if it was him, but when you got mental stress, man, that mental stress causes the stress on the body. Um, I said before, he's my favorite player. I'm a big LeBron fan, but the fact that the guy is built just like me, but he can shoot. We both wear glasses, can't see, but <laughs> he, he's just a killer. And if he's playing, I don't see anybody beating him. I, I just never see that. I mean, I just looked it up. It says Golden State Warriors uh, forward Kevin Durant has previously been engaged, engaged, but he is not currently nor has ever been married. Oh, good. So they were talking about... Um, he, he was engaged to a, a real estate agent named Cassandra Anderson. And so think about it. They broke up. Yeah. Good. Thank you. Um, not saying good that he <laughs> broke up. It's, <clears throat> I married the right person for me. 